Hey, what's going on? Happy weekend, everybody. And this video is super easy because I got an email that really tipped a nerve to me, not personally, but across the community of why do so many YouTubers, reselling YouTubers, Instagrammers, TikTokers, social media, content creators, influencers, whatever you want to call them or refer to us as, make our business seem like it's a get rich quick scheme. Why do so many social media people lie to new resellers, beginners, or even experienced people making them believe that it is easier said than done, uh, or easier done than said rather, and is basically uh, telling people that reselling is a get rich quick scheme that you just start buying and selling and you make tons of money overnight. Why do they do that? It's pretty simple, you guys. So the reason that they do that is views, content creation, monetization, money. Instagram and Facebook are paying lots and lots of money for reels and content and live videos and all sorts of things. YouTube has always paid really good money, especially in our niche, in our um, reselling finance business area category genre, they pay pretty good CPMs, which is basically the ad revenue that you get per thousand views. So people are learning that they put in all that time and they could just make that money on content creation. But what really, really gets me is the people that try to do it that have never resold, never been resellers and have no experience. If somebody was a reseller for many years and only does it a little bit now, but makes content, like that's fine if they have experience. Um, you know, I've always been a full-time reseller first and a content creator second. My incomes have started, you know, reselling, content creation, content creation, content creation, reselling. My incomes have always done this where some months I'm just focused on content and some months I'm just hammering away on wholesale boxes and reselling. But obviously over the last 15 or 16 years, I, without tooting my own horn, would like to think that I know a little something about reselling and I can teach anybody, just about anybody, how to do it from scratch and how to, you know, mistakes not to make. It's just over experience. It's not because anything special I've done. It's just pure years of experience. But then there's people that just started flipping something a couple weeks ago and they want to come out and make courses and do this and do that. It's the age old thing of like, you can make more money teaching than doing. And that's just so sad, but you can only teach if you have experience. So something I wanted to tell everyone, because I got this email that asked me, is reselling a get rich quick scheme? And then linking some people and showing me some stuff is one piece of advice I can give every single person who sits down and watches YouTube or watches content creation. One piece of advice I can give you about the reselling content creation community is can you go back and look at the experience of that seller. Can you go back six months, 12 months, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, and look at how much they've done in sales. Look at how much they are on a platform, how much inventory they've bought and sold, how many mistakes they've made, how many things they've posted about. Do they have YouTube videos for a year, two years, five years, showing all the purchases they've made, hundreds of thousands of pieces of inventory, or even just a couple thousand pieces over years? Do they have the receipts, the receipts to back up the experience? Do they show their 1099s on YouTube? Do they show their tax um, returns or their tax payments or their IRS payments? Do they show all of this stuff on social media that you can actually see what it is they're doing? Now, I'm not saying somebody has to live a flashy life or be rich or have cars or houses or this. Can you see the actual reselling work that they've put in over time to prove to you that they actually know what they're doing before they go out and make content and mislead you or sell you worthless products or training or whatever it might be. And at the end of the day, their lifestyle should at least make sense for the amount of money they claim to make. If they're claiming that they're just part-time but they're a really solid part-time uh, seller making 20, 30 grand a year, fine, they don't have to have some flashy lifestyle. If they tell you they're a full-time reseller making a million dollars a year, and they're getting foreclosed from their house or evicted or their cars repoed or their lifestyle just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. And again, not everybody that makes a lot of money has to buy flashy cars or big houses. They might have it all in a bank account and that's fine. But when you start claiming big, big numbers, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, there are certain things that will never happen in your life. You will never get evicted or kicked out of a house or foreclosed. You will never get a car repossessed. You will never have the issues that some folks that I have seen over the periods of time I've been in this community post about after posting that they made $1,000 today in profit. So 
My advice to everyone is do your due diligence, research, look into people, check up on them. Don't spend endless amounts of time on it. But if you're going to really follow somebody or invest your time, your valuable time into listening to their advice or your valuable money into their trainings or their whatever they have, please make sure they've been around the block and know what they're talking about. That's all. Because unfortunately, at the end of the email that I received, the person had been scammed out of money, time, and ended up figuring out that the person they were following really doesn't know what they're doing and really was just trying to skim money off of as many people as they could on a false belief and hope that they could teach them how to resell and get rich quick. And we all know how that ended. Unfortunately, it ended in an email to me and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Okay, that's my PSA and my uh, kind of little warning for everyone and my little thing. I'm not calling anyone out, I'm not naming names. I don't care, it's not my business. There's more than one of them. There's plenty of them. Uh, I'm not tooting my own horn. I mean, I've been doing this 15, 16 years. Uh, I provide a ton of free information. I provide paid information. I provide videos. I provide content. I provide training courses. I've done it all from top to bottom. You know, my story kind of speaks for itself, I suppose. If you don't trust me or believe in me, that's cool. Uh, but whether you follow me or you don't, make sure the other folks that you follow and look into, uh, you do your research on as well, as much as you research me. And uh, there's tons of good people, tons of people out of that community that are amazing resellers, amazing people. Katie and Vicky are amazing. And Samantha at Thrifty on a Dime is amazing. And Steve Rakin, uh, I love him or hate him. The guy is a hustler. He knows how to sell. He knows what he's doing. He's been around longer than I have. Bonafide hustler. Uh, you know, Man versus Mystery, Wade, Wade's Ventures. There's just so many good people out there that you don't need to spend time on the not so good people. Anyways, enjoy your weekend, guys. That's uh, my little rant for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you hit the like button and thumbs up. Hope you subscribe to the channel. I have more content out for you in the coming days. See everyone later.